The Lord is my light, my help, my salvation. Why should I fear? With God I fear no one. God protects me all my life. With the Lord, what should I fear? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, and dear students and teachers who are watching Mass online, so today we celebrate the memorial of Sons Agatha, Virgin and Mother. So the, the Mass intention today, we pray for all the students and the teachers at St. Bernard Catholic School. We also pray for Espiritu Josefa Alex Bierna, Amando and Agat Agaton Villanueva, Elodia Reyes, Renato Bunlandos, the deceased members of the Ollard and Labour families, the intentions of the Ollard and Labour families, and Ma Teresa Jiao. So now let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyr Son Agatha implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray. For she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as of sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus, we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday 
today and forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the words with a generous heart and zeal to have us through perseverance. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard about Jesus for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Eliza. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, it is John whom I beheaded, he has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored and grudge against him, and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod on his birthday, gave a banquet to his courtiers, his military officers, and the leaders men of Galilee. His own daughters came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request, I want you to give me at once on the bladder the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oath and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So 
he promptly dispatched the executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and, be and beheaded him in prison. He brought in the head on the bladder and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So when I um, came here, <clears throat> of course I had to learn the new culture, um, and um, I was advised that do not ask people's age, <laughs> do not ask people their salary, how much they make a month, do not ask them how heavy they are. Just ignore that, and just good, give them a good uh, complimentary. And yet here today we see that John the Baptist, if he's still living in this, in our times, he would be treated as someone is not, he's not intolerate, right? So because he criticized a private life of a person in the public, and especially that this person is King Herod, powerful man in the country. And um, yet, because John was sent to prepare the way of the Lord, the one that is the way, the life, and the truth. So therefore, John have the Lord in his side. He didn't afraid of anything. Because the Lord is my help. Whom should I be afraid? Yet, now today, since we live in this world, we have so many different view, point of view. One story, if we look at this story at different perspective, then we have different kind of truth. And each of us believe in our own truth. And there's so many different little pieces of truth. It's not the whole truth. So yet, but Jesus threw out the gospel that teach the truth and said that the truth will set you free. And um, especially that in the first reading that we heard that Jesus yesterday, today, and tomorrow is the same. So Jesus teach us and speak the word of God and teach the love of Father. Yet, in his time, in our times, and in the future, all the same. So Jesus' truth is the same at all times. So now we have to learn how to speak the truth. Let us say yes, that means yes, and no, that means no, right? The, school, the student at school, when you talk to your friends or your teacher, when they ask you, have you done your homework? And you haven't done it, can you say yes? You have to say the truth to your teacher. You have to let them know that what's the reason that you, you, you missed uh, or you forgot to do your homework, and maybe that you, if you're honest, yes, your teacher may forgive you at the time, but you have to remember how to do your homework next time. So you have to say the truth. So today, we uh, celebrate the memory of St. Agatha, and uh, I see this prayer that from her, that's very beautiful, and I want to borrow her word. We pray. It said that when Agatha was arrested, the legion said, she prayed that Jesus, Lord of all things, you see my heart, you know my desires, possess all that I am, you alone. I am your sheep, make me worthy to overcome the devil. And when she was in prison, she prayed, Lord, my creator, you have protected me since I was in the cradle. You have taken me from the love of the world and given me patience to suffer. Now receive my spirit.
please rise. And the response for us is that fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. Fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. We trust in God's concern for every person he has created and redeemed through his Son. Let us therefore renew our prayers to him. Fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. O God of mercy, guide us toward spiritual growth. Fill our minds with thoughts of truth, justice, and love. Fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. For your name's sake, do not abandon us forever, and do not annul your covenant. Fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. Accept us, for our hearts are humble and our spirit contrite, and those who trust in you shall not put to shame. Fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. You have called us to a prophetic vocation in Christ. Help us proclaim your mighty deeds. Fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. And we pray for all the teachers and students at St. Bernard Catholic High School. We pray to the Lord. Fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. We also pray for all the souls that we offer Mass today. Fulfill the good works you have begun in us, Lord. Lord, fill our hearts with your love as morning fills the sky. By living your law, may we have your peace in this life and endless joy in the life to come. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit the earth and work of human hands. He become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May Lord sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and all his holy church. As we commemorate the martyrdom of blessed Son Agatha, O Lord, we make our offerings at your altar, praying that we who celebrate the mysteries of our Lord's passion may imitate what we do now through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give adore to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, 
the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, O creatures of heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration as we, with all the hosts of angels, cried out and without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your Spirit upon them, let it do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered wilderness passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Myron our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. The spiritual Josefa, Atlas Vienna, Amando and Agathon Villanueva, Elodia Reyes, Renato Bunlandos, the deceased members of the older labor families. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit be called as eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the same year's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from the trust as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter the my roof, but only say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Quante vida, cuerpo del Señor, cup of blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first. Oh, that is servir, porque Dios es amor. We are the dwelling of God, fragile and wounded and weak. to be the compassion of God. Pan de vida, cuerpo del Señor, cup of blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At table the last shall be first oh that I serve you porque 
Dios es amor. You, you call me teacher and Lord, I who have washed your feet, so you must do as I do, so the greatest must become the least. Pan de vida, cuerpo del Señor, cup of blessing, blood of Christ the shall be first poder servir porque Dios es amor poder servir porque Dios es amor Let us pray. As we celebrate the heavenly banquet, we beseech you, Lord, that in following such a great example of faith, we may be encouraged by the remembrance of the blessed martyrs, St. Agatha, and led, on her, and led on by her gracious intercession through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. San Michael, the archangel, defends us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness of the devil. 
May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Holy Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seek and ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Bernard, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day to all of you and to the students and teachers, and happy study. God bless you all. Thank you, Father. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. Let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul. I worship Your holy name.